And now, CBS Radio brings you Ma Perkins. Ma's daughter Faye is going to marry Carl Michaels. On Friday, Carl went back to Chicago. Ugh, Carl, don't go back to Chicago. But no sooner had Carl left town than Dr. Andrew. Good afternoon, Miss Hannigan. Huh. Farrell, you're early. Only one week? What's the matter, Warbucks fed up with her already? Oh no, on the contrary. Mr. Warbucks is delighted with Annie, and Annie is having the time of her life. How nice. Yes, she and Mr. Warbucks are practically inseparable. They go everywhere together, to the Roxy, to the Stock Exchange, and guess who they had lunch yesterday? Where? The Automat. The Automat? Yes, and she just loves her new coat. She never takes it off. Never? Never. Miss Hannigan, I know you're busy, but this has to be signed and sent back to Mr. Donatelli at the Board of Orphans by no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. What for? Because Mr. Warbucks is so delighted with Annie that, guess what? What? He wants to adopt her. Annie is going to be Warbucks' kid? The daughter of a millionaire? Oh, no, 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 no. The daughter of a billionaire. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just one moment? Ah! You got any more wonderful news for me? I told you about the coat, didn't I? Oh, you told me all about the coat. Well then, good day, Miss Hannigan. Oh, good day. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Pardon me, pudding cup. <laughs> Hiya, sis. Ugh. Long time no see. Rooster, never rains but it pours. They finally let you out of Sing Sing? Yeah, I got six months off of good behavior. <laughs> I'll bet. What was it this time? Eh, uh, some old geezer from Yonkers said I swindled them out of 1100 bucks. And why do you say that? Because the rooster swindled them out of 1100 bucks. Ah, well. <laughs> sis, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine from... City! Jersey City. Miss Lily St. Regis. I'm named after a hotel. Which floor? <laughs> Don't you just love Lily, sis? Mmm, nuts about her. Rooster, do me a favor. Anything. Get out of here and take the St. Regis with you. Come on, Aggie. <sighs> Can it. Looking for another handout? Nah, we got an 80 coming in the mail Thursday. So it's all we need is 10 to tide us over. Not even a nickel for the subway. A five of Aggie. <laughs> I gotta laugh. You, with all your big talk, are gonna be living in clover. Uh, this ain't exactly Buckingham Palace. Oh yeah? I'm on the city. Steady salary, free food, free gas and electric. I'm doing all right. Sis, you doing like I'm doing. Lousy. Ah, Aggie, how would you have your kids ever end up like this? On the skids. I remember the way our sainted mother would sit and croon us her lullaby. She'd say, kids, there's a place that's like no other. You gotta get there before you die. You don't get there by playing from the rule book. Stack the aces, you load the dice. Mother dear, oh we know you're down there listening. How can we follow your sweet advice to easy street? Bumped into on the way in here. Looked like she had a couple of dollars. 
works for all of the Warbucks. The all of the Warbucks? The millionaire? No, the billionaire, you dumb hotel. Works for him up in his mansion on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue? Oh, he don't live on Fifth Avenue. He don't? Where does he live? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 